for you! Welcome back, I'm Captain Xavier, and I am a shameless fan of getting free stuff. Especially free nerf related tactical stuff. So when 3D Printed Solid reached out to me and said, Hey, would you like to review some stuff? I said, oh yes. Oh yes, I would. Uh, and I believe they were going to send me a holster. This box is larger than a holster. So I don't know what all they sent me. And I am excited to find out. So let's take a look. Send me bubble wrap. Good lord. Lord of my stuff. Okay. There appear to be four. There's a I don't I don't even know. Okay, okay. I think I think I see what's going on here, and I'm going to plots. All right, I thoroughly geeked out over these and then started looking at them closely and spotted all sorts of features that I had missed, so I'm just gonna go over it all again, hopefully more succinctly. So as you can see, they have sent me both a right and a left of both their Kronos and their Hammershot holsters, and they are absolutely magnificent. The engineering that went into designing these is brilliant because they don't require any, or very, very little supports. Uh, all of the, you know, these angles are at 45, which most 3D printers can print without needing any kind of support, which makes for a really clean print. And it's really very, very impressive how cleanly these prints came out. Uh, they are very, very similar in design. There are slight structural differences because of the different sizes of the blasters, but they are not interchangeable, obviously. So the hammer shot's not going to fit in here, and the Kronos is not, or Chaos is not... No, I had it right the first time. Kronos is not going to fit over there. Um, you can fit a Sweet Revenge into the hammer shot one, but it doesn't lock. Which means it could potentially wobble free. Though it's deep enough, it, it might not. But both designs have a spring-loaded lock that locks into this tab right in front of the trigger guard. And that's what really locks them into place to keep them from falling out. Which is really, really cool. You would have to be doing some pretty intense flips and jumps and rolls and stuff to get them to jostle loose on their own. Um, and there, part of that is that locking them, but the other is just how well fitted the design is. All of the contours line up with contours on the blaster, which make for a really snug fit, but one that is still very, very, very easy to draw, which is obviously ideal. The downside to that is, of course, that you can't use any sort of aftermarket barrels with either of these. Uh, the Gavin Fuzzy kit and the, the RE Armory barrels won't fit, uh, and none of the Hammershot barrels are going to fit, but top rail stuff would still work, because the top rail is exposed, which we'll get into why I really like that design later, but you could use things like the, the Picatinny rail kit as long as it only went up to here, uh, and you can use the uh, speed load kits that exist, and obviously the T-poles for these would work just fine, uh, any other um, augmentations that aren't covered by the plastic. Obviously, they're going to be great. Now, the thing that really surprised me and that I was not expecting was that they they came with the leg the, the the leg panels that have all the straps attached to them. And what I didn't notice the first time I went through is that they're different. The two the ones on the Chronos and the ones on the Hammershot are slightly different. This one has two straps. This one only has the one strap. This one has the elastic strap that I really really like. I wish this one had it as well, but it doesn't. Uh, because it makes for a much more comfortable fit, and it, it bends better when you're you're squatting or, or kneeling or anything like that. Um, but I also really like having the, the two because it makes the whole platform more stable. Um, Kronoses are obviously heavier, which is, uh, I assume, why they went with that choice. Um, they are very adjustable. The straps that they come with are, are fairly adjustable. These ones I was able to adjust out to fit my legs just fine. The upper ones on these were not. They were too short. I couldn't actually get it. However, by simply using some by using some of this uh, front back Velcro or hook and loop 
stuff that you can get at Joann's or Michael's or any place that sells, you know, sewing or crafting supplies. Uh, you use a long enough strip of it and you can simply add it on to the existing Velcro, fold it over, and and then loop it through. And it should should hold well enough if you can get it, you know, and then adjust it to the right size. The other thing that they hadn't done, which I don't consider <laughs> any sort of a flaw on their parts, were uh, the the leg rigs were both set up for right side users. The 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 clips were towards the front if you had it on the right, but they were the same on the other side, whereas they needed to be mirrored, and that was just a simple matter of pulling the straps out and putting them through the other way. So that is peachy. The belt loops that they have, they do have the, the loops that go up to your belts, which are pretty much essential. Uh, are large enough to fit a standard, you know, battle belt, uh, which is really, really cool. They're very well sized to that. It actually fits very, very snugly, which I really like, so they won't slide around too much. Um, that is fabulous, uh, and it is adjustable as well. This can be moved up and down, um, and they have the buckles so you can put um, these just on your belt and then clip them on and off depending on which belt you want to use or which lower rig you want to use. The downside is they don't appear to be the same buckles. I doubt these are actually interchangeable. They are not. Not so much. So um, that's a slight detriment because you'd have to have both of the upper parts on your belt and they're probably then different than the ones that come with my Condor which means I'd need three different sets of these on here and to clip whichever um, holsters I want. Uh, alternatively, I could just go through and replace this piece. I have the technology to do that easily enough. Um, but it, it's really neat that they clip on, on and off so that you can swap out whatever leg rigs you want depending on your loadout instead of having to have three different, completely different belts. Uh, though that's not necessarily a bad option because then you can dole them out to other people. I generally like to have, you know, options like that. One thing that I think would be really good, and I will probably, if I decide to go ahead and swap these out, what I will swap the upper part to is uh, cutting it up the middle or replacing it with two smaller straps um, that are then, would then be Molly compatible so that I could attach it to uh, one of those wider belts that have the Molly uh, loops on them or that you could just hook them to the base of a vest if the vest had molly on the side plates on the on your sides um but that that would still work on a regular belt like this but you could then put it through molly loops and hang it off of there um which would be really really cool all you would really need to do to this would be um well you'd probably have to replace the straps altogether. but you'd i'd go with snaps have it, the loop be the exact same size but have snaps and then have it be just slit it and seal it so that it wouldn't fray on you and then you would be able to put it on even more uh, options so uh, if you guys actually make your own strapping there there's a recommendation make it molly compatible um yeah now i don't know if they inherently previously made right and left i'd assume that they did I mean, it would just be a matter of flipping over your stls and your files so that's why i was kind of odd that the uh, the straps weren't done although they these plates aren't 3D printed, so they're probably buying them, and they probably only come set up for right-handed people. Uh, and they just expect us lefties to swap them ourselves, because, I mean, that's fair. We're used to it. Another neat feature that they both have are ammo holders built onto the thigh rigs. So they have both rival round holders that just hold individual rival rounds, which is neat, so you could easily top up. And they've got them on both sides, so they hold two full reloads. Uh, for stock. I mean, if you put, you know, it made the, the six round, then you'd be short one. But then these ones also will hold darts, and I have found that they go best in um, tip out, which is good because when you're pulling them out to reload, you're then pulling them out tip first, and it's, it's easy to then top off your hammer shot. And those also come with five on each side, so a total of ten. So, uh, full reload for stock ones. The one thing that I did notice was that the screws, the lower screw is a little too long and actually sticks out in into the middle reload, but that is easy enough to simply unscrew that and cut it with, you know, side cutters or a bolt cutter or something uh, and then screw them back in. You only have to take off about a half inch uh, and, it, and it works just fine. So 
yeah, these are absolutely beautiful and gorgeous, and I'm now going to put them onto a belt and test um, the draw speed. Because that was the one thing I really liked about these designs, and a lot of holsters that I've seen, uh, the longer portion is on the top. And I had to do that on like, my Strife holsters because of the magazine, otherwise there wouldn't be enough holding it on. But because of the way these are designed, you only have to take it about that far out before you can start bringing it up. Whereas if it was going the other way around, you'd have to pull it all the way out before you could take it up. So that makes your, your draw time much faster, but still has lots of material holding it in place. So I really like that design. We'll see how easy it is to draw and out. more importantly, how easy it is to holster. That's one of the downsides with the soft ones. The, the soft adjustable ones are, are great because they can fit just about any blaster, whereas these ones are very specific. You can really only use these two options. But uh, the soft ones, one, they will fit most things, but they'll never fit any of them quite as well as these fit these two. And you will have issues with stuff falling out and them not being adjusted when you go to... We have to readjust them when you go to switch holsters or switch blasters and stuff like that. Um, and they're also more difficult to holster generally because they are they don't have any rigid material in them to hold them open. Whereas these, I'm hoping you can draw and put them away very quickly. My Strife ones, since they've got metal on the inside, um, are really easy to draw, though the metal is starting to wear through and I probably ought to replace them at some point. Uh, has anybody designed a 3D printed Strife holster? If they have, somebody, link, description. Anyway, all of the, dis the links for all of this will, of course, be in the description. Their, their website and all of these in particular. These are gorgeous. Okay, let's go take a look at the whole drawing issue and see how well they, they, they holster and draw and all of that. So, I need a belt. All right. Quite fetching, don't you think? I like them. All right, these are the Kronos ones, obviously. There was additional adjustment necessary to get the leg straps just right, get the height right. They were slung a little bit too low and maybe still are just a scotch too low. That is a personal preference, of course. Do you want them? Some people like them all the way up here. Some people like them further down. I generally like them fairly low. Where they are, I can get to them. And you can put them away quite easily, which with a little bit of practice, you could get real quick at it without even having to you know, look where they're, they're going. You just lock them in. Beautiful. Absolutely fantastic. Um, the ammo is are kind of low. Once again, that's another thing that if you brought it up higher, you'd be able to reach those easily, but it is still reachable. Uh, you probably, you know, pull them off of the opposite side of whichever leg you're using. The back ones are a little bit trickier, but it's still... It's extra ammo. If you've got time to reload, you've got time to, you know, find them. Dump pouch is probably still more efficient, but these are just neat. I mean, let's be honest. It's it's ammo holders on the holster, which is just cool. So, yes. Very good. Very good. Let's do some running about. They didn't fall off. Let's try the hammer shots. Ha! Hammer shots! So, again, a little bit of adjustment necessary to get them up to the right height. This is right where I want them. And that is beautiful. Uh, these ones are the ones that only have the single strap, and it does have elastic, so there's less fitting necessary there. And they're really comfortable and move with you better, I feel. Same thing with the holes, with the drawing. It's really easy to draw them. And really easy. These ones are even easier to holster. I think because it has that narrower thing that really locks into the channel. So it's really easy to draw them, reholster them without looking, without even having to think about it, without even much practice. These ones go in much smoother. And again with the running about! They didn't fall out! Blamity. All right, final thoughts. These are awesome. Get yourself some. Uh, only complaints, like I said, uh, was the fact that while these loops are perfectly fitted to fit on a belt this size, because they're perfectly fitted, you have to disassemble the belt to get them on and off. Whereas most of the previous ones that I've seen from, like, Condor and whatnot, um, the loop Velcro's open. 
which means you can easily get them on and off. Now, if you plan to put them on your belt and never take them off, not a problem. So I don't see that as a real detriment. Also, like I said, I would be pretty surprised if these weren't a third party thing that they buy to put on here. And so they have no control over that whatsoever. And I really like these thigh rigs. The fact that they have the dart holders, the straps all together, adjustable straps, really, really nice. And they're thoroughly solid because they are not 3D printed and they're not going to fall apart on you. So, I did have both sets of holsters on here at the same time, which was not a problem. You just have to shift the one you want to the position you want it in. Um, it's Velcroed on the back side of here, so it, it, it holds those in place and they won't slide around on you, which is really, really nice. So these will definitely be coming part of my regular loadouts, uh, my lighter loadouts, as opposed to my heavy, where I have the dual strifes, for things like Nerf Wars or for... Um, non super heavy HVZ loadouts, um, much like much rather go with the the hammer shots uh, for doing something that's rival only, or I just want something that's got a lot of pop to it. Um, I might go with the 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 Kronos ones, just because I mean they're neat. I'm not sure what I'll, whether I will come up with two separate belts, both with their own connections and their own dump pouch, or if I will just go with one belt that I then put all of the the different loops on. Haven't decided that yet, but for general nerf use, these are absolutely fantastic and I love them and thank you so much for sending me. All of the links will be down in the description. Thank you for watching.